considered one of the worst incidents in the history of Hajj. Two groups of pilgrims were crushed on the way to the stoning of the devil ritual. Over 700 dead. Now, accusations are frying around. First, Iran accused Saudi authorities of negligence and called on an international committee to take over the organization of the Hajj instead of the kingdom. This prompted Saudis to hit back. In such special incidents, it's important that people receive the truth through the official channels and not to listen to what's said from abroad, whether private channels or governments, whose main goal is to use such incidents to harm the kingdom's interests. The Saudi officials went on to blame the pilgrims for not abiding by the set route and hence the clash with other pilgrims. Eyewitnesses themselves are confused. This accident, what I saw is that with the huge crowds, people pushed each other. But it got worse because people coming from the back couldn't see the ones in the front. So they pushed them further and stepped on them. Many of the dead were Africans, including Nigerians. Nigeria rejected Saudi claims that pilgrims were at fault and called on the government to shoulder responsibility. Even though the Nigerians may have some blame, but they are in a foreign country. And in a foreign country, they've got to adhere to the rules of that country. So if they are still not to have adhered, then someone somewhere did not also make sure that they adhere to the rules. Because there were security guys all the routes. You and I have gone to the Jamrat. There were security guys, the Askaris, as they called them. So what happened? Who allowed who to go? To move to... Uh, a destination or a route that is not uh, authorized. Who looked the other way? The death toll is high. That's why many don't want whoever is responsible to go unpunished. While some started the blame game from day one, most countries have preferred to stay silent until the investigation is complete. Once announced, it will surely cause more debate and further accusations. Yasser Hakim for CCTV. Mina, Saudi Arabia.